Welcome back to Grizz Vision here on OUGrizzlies.com. My name is Neil Rule. We're here with softball coach Connie Miner. And, Coach, uh, last week you got some games in. You didn't get some games in. Uh, take us back to Central Michigan. Walk us through those that doubleheader. Well, we were, you know, we're excited to get outside. It's been a while. So, um, you know, they're, they're a great team. They were going into 22 and, and 10, you know, and real explosive offense, you know, some solid pitching. So we were excited to get there um, and, and play some games. And we had a great first game. It was really in our control, 4-1. to one, And uh, momentum was on our side in the first game. Kaylee was throwing a great game. And I never talk about it, but a really critical bad call you know we in the thick of their lineup with runners at what we had was runners at first base no outs and they made a very poor call um never seen it in my life and it put runners at first and second no outs so it was a momentum switch we still came out of it ahead um but you know it just didn't finish um uh we scored in the last inning that's i love this team we just keep you know fighting but that was a tough one to lose against that kind of a team um, and then, you know, just didn't have our best game the second game. More of a timely hits than anything was we were, I think we matched up really well with a uh, number of hits each game. You know, so uh, it was important to get out and play. I think the first game actually was important to us because we can, you know, we, we knew we let that one get away and it's against a very good team that actually matches up. They're very similar to um, Valpo um, as far as if you look at numbers and pitching and so forth. So. I will use that game for getting ready for, uh, you know, Valpo, which is, you know, leading the conference uh, right now and won it last year. So it's, uh, we're excited to get to Valpo and, and play. Yeah, and last weekend, weather, uh, it, it's a storyline, Coach. It's been a storyline all season long. The games at Green Bay canceled. But yeah. you guys uh, do have the opportunity to play Valpo this week. But the weather right. has been a story. It, it has. I, you know, we were looking at it, and we've played only two games. Next closest to us, I think, is is five. Everyone above that is six, eight, and ten games. You know, so once again, we're kind of in that situation where people have played, been able to play more games. Um, so we're just, you know, we're trying to re, you know, reschedule a couple of those. We've already gotten Detroit rescheduled. It's just a doubleheader, but at least we, we get to play them. Um, we're working on uh, Cleveland State and Green Bay. It's going to be very difficult because it's a long trip to try to fit in during the week when you're in school. So. Um, you know, it, it's been challenging. Um, I think last year <laughs> we didn't get a lot of games and we sat. I think it's actually helped us better because we're more prepared for it because we sat all of March uh, because nothing was scheduled. Um, so I think we're handling as far as being back inside in our sports bubble. Thank God we have it. Um, when we can't get outside, we're still able to get some things done. So I think my team is doing a great job handling, you know, the frustration of it. You know, because we right. just need to play and keep – uh, working on things, have that great feel we had from Florida. Um, so mentally, I think we're handling it pretty well. I, I have a great feel from them this week uh, that, you know, they're going to be ready for Valpo, which is a very, very talented team. And they lead the conference. They won the conference last year. Mm -hmm. Is this a measuring stick for you guys to see exactly where you're at? Yeah, you know, it's always, ex you know, it's exciting to play the number one team. It, it, it's not, you don't have to worry about your team not being ready to go. Um, you know, it, it's exciting, and it, it's a measuring stick to kind of see where you're at. Um, I felt like Central was a very good measuring stick for us, and we should have won the first game. Um, so, you know, we, we competed against them and uh, just came up a little short at 6-5. And um, so I think that, that was a measuring stick, and we're right there. So we have another one this weekend, and it's obviously more important because it's conference play. So, uh, you know, my, we're all looking forward to go there and hopefully have good weather where we can get all three games in. All right, Coach, we certainly do appreciate the time. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Catch back up with you next week. Maybe we'll get that home opener going. Yes, we hope so. We <laughs> hope so. Thank you very much, Coach. Mm -hmm. You're welcome.